Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. I would love to uh, hear your thoughts on that in terms of whether or not it is necessary to acclimate SPS or LPS when you get uh, a shipment, you know, overnight. Can you, um, do you need to temp temperature acclimate them? Do you need to drip acclimate them? Or can they come right out of the bag into the tank? Are they uh, self-acclimating organisms? Okay. I'm going to jump on that one first. So number one, can they go right into the tank? Sure, but you're going to bring the acropora eating flatworms and everything else with them. So watch <laughs> out. <laughs> um, number two, in general, corals do not need to be acclimated except for one thing, salinity. Um, I, you know, they, they're not super sensitive to slight changes in salinity, but you never know the place that you bought it from, or if something happened in your tank that you weren't watching, if there's a really big difference in salinity, then you could have an issue going from bag directly into the tank. Generally, that's not gonna be the case. Uh, temperature is not really uh, something to worry about. So even if you uh, get, uh, let's say, some acro frags and they come in at 65 degrees in the bag and you've got a tank that's 78 degrees you think they can go i'm not saying right out of the bag and into the display but uh they come right out of the bag and into a uh uh you know a bucket with that display tank water yeah i don't see a problem with that you know think about what corals are exposed to when the tide changes um you know they they get exposed to amazing heating um also with upwelling, they, they can get really cold too. Yes. And we, uh, we've done now uh, it, three shipments, two from Palau, or maybe three from Palau, and one from Australia of corals, large, large heads of coral for uh, researchers working on coral spawning here. And, you know, they come in at 68, 72, and then we have to acclimate them. Um, we just do a drip acclimation with them. Basically, we, the reason we acclimate them is to what Julian alluded to, is that we treat them for any parasites they might be bringing right. in with them. So we have to give them, so that, that becomes an acclimation. But I have no qualms about taking them and putting them directly in the tank. I do have a question for Julian, though, because I know that you've brought this up with freshwater dips. What about alkalinity? Do, should the alkalinity be close in the two waters? I don't have a, an opinion on it because I haven't tested that. Um, because I, because we know that if you bump the alkalinity in your system too quickly, you can cause you know, yeah. a tip burn, bleaching, right. all kinds of different things. And I know when we're dipping our, if we're dipping corals in a freshwater dip or clams, that we should have the alkalinity should be pretty close to the tank's alkalinity. Right. You want to put a, a buffer or something in there. Yeah. Yeah. So I, that would might be something that, you know, unless unless you have a really bad supplier. Your alkaline, their alkalinity should be, should be pretty, pretty close to yours, unless you're running your tank unusually high or low. So what I'm, what I'm hearing yeah. from you guys is that um, not necessary to float bags with corals in a tank to stabilize that temperature. P perhaps it's a good idea to drip acclimate to at least make sure the salinity is okay and potentially alkalinity. And it's easy enough to test the salinity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, should be, you should be testing the water the corals right. come in to yeah. see what you're getting. Right. Yes. Yeah, we get that with we, we we get really sometimes surprised when with fish suppliers, you know, when we get our fish in what the salinity of that water is. And we have to do a quick, you know, quick uh, adjustment of our tank because the salinity comes in really low, much lower than we were expecting. 